What's up, guys? It's Cobra Game for Six Years Game. Another video and today. It's gonna be another Who's Better video suggested by Suplex Machine Twelve. We'll put his link down in the description box below. Shout out to him. Thank you for referring to this. I'm seeing Punk vs. Triple H. Now, since this match has been rumored a lot um, uh, on the internet lately, and yes, the internet is such a reliable source. Um, Going towards WrestleMania 30 and the Royal Rumble, we're kind of on the heels of the Royal Rumble and on the road to WrestleMania. Let's go ahead and talk about this stuff. So this is very fitting, and I have, I, don't, I haven't done uh, who's better with these two two men either, so this is perfect. Um, so there's been a lot of rumors of going around with some CM Punk and the finish of the um, uh, Slammy Awards 2013. There's a lot of things going on where it's going to be Triple H versus CM Punk at WrestleMania 30. Which is the event I'm going? I wouldn't mind seeing that, honestly. Um, could CM Punk do something else? Yes. Could Triple H do something else? I don't know, because there's nothing really else for Triple H to do. Um, but in this video, we're going to determine who's better. Some of you might not agree with what I have to say, but that's fine. It's my opinion. You know, you have yours, and, you're, and that's your right. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on to it. Better debut. Well... Johnny Crystal went up against Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the blue blood of the World Wrestling Federation. Um, and I honestly didn't really care for that debut because I watched it. And then when you look at the other match um, uh, that CM Punk had, he was in the Heimerstein Ballroom against Justin Credible. Now, to me, that was a better debut. I mean, none of these debuts were monumental and didn't have a huge impact on the wrestling business. It's not like it was the NWO or anything like that. But to me, CM Punk had a better debut. So CM Punk Uno Seto goes to Triple H for my Spanish viewers. Um, uh, Espanol. Okay. Hola, amigos. Um, anyway, let's get to the next category. Better on the mic. I'm going to go with CM Punk. Now, you can justify this for yourself. But Triple H was a, he's very good on the mic. Can be somewhat boring at times, I know. But CM Punk is always able to entertain me. Like, it's not a snore fest of, like I'm sitting over here. Just watching Mom that roll, hoping something happens. When CM Punk comes on, I'm instantly enthralled. I'm hooked onto the channel. I'm hooked on CM Punk and what's going to happen. So, Triple H, yes, is normally what something's going to happen when Triple H goes out there. But the fact of the matter is, CM Punk is definitely very entertaining and very good on the mic. A little, and to me, better than to me better uh, than Triple H. A little bit more charismatic, if you ask me as well. Um, better in ring attire, Triple H. Triple H didn't really have an in-ring attire. He had almost the same kind of thing with Austin. It just had a little bit of print on it. It said Triple H or had his little logo on there with the sledgehammers and stuff on his attire. CM Punk had different uh, colors and stuff like that. He had the Chicago Stars like on the flag. It's like blue, red, and then white and stuff like that. Red, white, and blue. And, um, and basically, it had the Chicago Stars like the flag. And it could be yellow and black and white. It could be the Chicago flag colors. It could be red, black, and white, it could be any colors, but I thought they looked pretty cool, and, uh, and there's different times that he had, like, the Yankee pinstripe when they were in Boston, I thought that was genius, uh, when he faced Undertaker at WrestleMania 29, he had purple and gray, just like the Undertaker's old attire, and when he wore a suit and stuff like that, so definitely, I think CM Punk had a better attire, so right now, it's a, it's a good choice to settle right now, um, cooler entrance, I'll go with Triple H, CM Punk, yes, this Fire Burns was a really good entrance, and I love that song, and that's the email over there. Um, uh, so, I guess I, I don't know, I, really, I don't have ADHD. I don't, but let me, something catch your attention, like a big sound. Oh my god, what is that? So I'm, my attention was going over there, so I just wanted to announce that. Anyway, back on subject. Cooler entrance, CM Punk, yes, this Fire Burns was fantastic, and I would love to sing that song. I could sing that song and walk around the house with my socks and slide around on the floor and sing this Fire Burns. The cult of personality was pretty good, but Triple H, um, yes, his beginning entrance sucked, but when it got to my time, and like, da 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 not, and, like, it just keeps going on and on, and Triple H is, I, I love that entrance of my time, and then they got rid of it around 2001, I believe, um, uh, and then <clears throat> he switched over to Motorhead, and it's time to play the game, and that, that just gives me chills, like the Undertaker, well, not as much as the Undertaker entrance when I hear the gong, but Triple H is, like, doom, 
doom doom, time to play the game. Da -da -da. If you listen to the lyrics and stuff like that, and you watch the way Triple H walks, and the way he spits, and the way he carries himself to the ring, and he has his shoulders like this when he's walking, it makes it makes you feel it. And to me, I like that entrance a lot, a lot better than CM Punk's. So three to one. Better nickname to go with the game Triple H. I think this is better. I mean, CM Punk had Second City Saints. Um, different other ones that they, I could go into detail with more and different nicknames that he's gotten. Well, I'm going to go with the game Triple H, which is supposed to be intended for Owen Hart, but as we all know what happened to Owen Hart, rest in peace, Owen. Um, anyway, better wrestler. Let me go with CM Punk. Now, Triple H, yes, he's a good wrestler. Yes, he can wrestle. It's not like he's great Kali walking around there on stilts. It's CM Punk. He's a really good wrestler, and to me, he came from the independent circuit. He came from different things like that. Who keeps sending me a text message? Good God, can somebody please stop? <laughs> I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> but better wrestler, I'm going to go with CM Punk. Independent circuit, he was, he was bred from there, basically. And CM Punk, very good technical wrestler in the ring. Very good wrestler overall. I love CM Punk. Um, very entertaining in the ring. Can't go wrong with CM Punk when he when you see his, his, his he's on the match card you know something's gonna be good unless he's paired with the wrong person when he has a good match they all it, it all gels and CM Punk is a really good wrestler he can, he can have a good match with anybody and Triple H he's had a lot of bad matches that have come up on the marquee like different matches with Brock Lesnar you know or different matches with some with some other talent you know they haven't come up on the marquee but like guys like CM Punk who wrestle a guy like Brock Lesnar or a big marquee match they're gonna make it a good match. Is Triple H going to make more money? Yes, but I'll get to that later. Now, better matches. So I'm going to go with a tie because basically what I just stated, they both can have fantastic five-star matches at the drop of a hat, but it just depends who they're working with. I'm not going to give a, a side to CM Punk just because he's had he's had better matches recently. I'm not going to give a knock to Triple H because he's been away for a while. They both had some monumental matches that will stand to the test of time and be, you know, the greatest matches. Um, of this generation, you know, you have the Undertaker and Triple H match, you've had the, uh, you know, uh, their match at 17, 27, and 28, you know, they're, they're all great, and, you know, he's had some, some fantastic matches with Stone Cold and, and, uh, and The Rock, and, you know, CM Punk's had some with Daniel Bryan and others in the past, and, you know, John Cena and different things like that, so he has definitely made a big impact on the business itself, Triple H has making with these matches and so is CM Punk for all of us to watch. So yeah, I, I give it a tie and that's the first time I've ever done a top ever done a tie before in my life on on the Who's Better series. So it is five CM Punk, two Triple H. We still have three more categories to go. Better finisher and go with Triple H. Yes the GTS is awesome. Yes the Anaconda Vice is brutal and I like it. Um but to me, I like the, I like the pedigree. The pedigree looks cool. It's it's very anticipated. Like I like it because it can come out of nowhere. CM Punk, he has to lift him up on his shoulders. It's so easy to count. He can just hop right off, just like the attitude adjustment. And then he has to pick him right back up and do the GTS again. But to me, I think there's more. The Anaconda Vice is kind of slow, and it's but it's but it makes somebody tap out. I mean, it's cool. I like the Anaconda Vice, but it's not his real finisher because he hasn't done it in such a long time which is about three years because they haven't done it since Survivor Series 2011. No, no. WrestleMania 28 against Chris Jericho, I believe. Um, but, I mean, he's probably done it before. I just haven't noticed it. Um, but better finish with Triple H is, is, is awesome. I love the pedigree. The kick to the gut, the um, uh, wrenching of both arms, and then planting their opponent down to the mat. Like, that's, that's, that's freaking awesome. I love, I love that finisher. Um, next match, bigger draw. I mean, next match. Next category, bigger draw. I'm going to go with Triple H. This match is fantastic. I mean, the, the way this guy, the way this guy has put his mark on the business is awesome. Yes, there is a star right beside it because he is married to the boss's daughter. And but when you think about it, Sam Punk has he really done anything substantial, really to make it? Wow, that guy was the greatest of all time, or that guy thought he was the greatest of all time, or that guy was amazing. Yes, people will do that. But to me, I really think CM Punk was amazing. I'll look back on it when I'm about 36 or whatever and say, I love CM Punk. I was a big CM Punk fan because CM Punk, was, CM Punk was awesome. CM Punk is great. But when you think about the business, D Triple H, yes, he's had so many good matches. He's had so many things done for the company. He's done so many things for the company and drew so much for the company. Um, that, you know, he is kind of, 
he's carrying the company basically now somewhat, not as a, a performer, but backstage behind the scenes with Vince McMahon. And to me, I think that's pretty good because he's leading the generation and we've seen so many cool, good, new, good stars um, in The Shield and Biggie Langston and, you know, Sami Zayn. Um, you know, and other, you know, other people from NXT and Bray Wyatt, all these guys coming up, Triple H, you know, I guess you could say he has somewhat credit for it, you know what I'm saying? I know people would disagree with me, and they can bash me all they want to, but it doesn't really matter, because Triple H has made the bigger impact on the business, and I think I said bigger draw, but I've done the last category already, so Triple H wins that one, so yeah, Triple H. Bigger draw, though, CM Punk, again, didn't draw that much, but tri Triple H didn't draw a substantial amount, like, uh, so called Steve Austin or The Rock. Um, but he did draw some light. I mean, right when around 2004 was a, was around, um, or in 2005, if, if you really think about it, people on the marquee was Triple H normally in 2004, 2005. So, if you think about it, you know, CM Punk, I mean, there's still about 175,000 to 200,000 pay per view buys. When Triple H is throwing 240 to 330,000 pay-per-view buys, if you think about it, the, yes, the wrestling business has changed, and the wrestling rate has gone down over the years, and the product has somewhat, but, again, Triple H, a bigger draw than the same. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of Code Breaker 146's Who Better series. If you want to suggest some, send in the comment section below. Also, I'm gonna, some other things to look forward to. I won't be uploading um, for the next two to three days because... A lot of busy stuff, you know, school it comes into time. But right now we're going to be, this is on the marquee, we, or on the schedule, we have Roy Rumble 2001 DVD review. I'm going to be starting the 2001 DVD review series. Um, we have also another unboxing. I already recorded it. I already got the stuff, but I'm not going to upload it until later. Unboxing number 16. And then we have the Q&A. So make sure you guys look forward to that. And thank you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you come down below and leave a like, rating, or whatever. Anyway, guys, peace out.